Alright, so today we're doing the 2001 AP Calc AB Free Response Question 5. And right now it's on the screen, so if you want to pause the video and solve it, and then resume the video and watch me solve it, you can do that. We've got this landfill, and this landfill has 14,000 or 1,400 tons of solid waste at time equals zero. So the first question asks us to use the line tangent to the graph of W at t equals zero to approximate the amount of solid waste at the end of the first three months of 2010. So time t equals one half, one fourth. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to first find the li the line tangent to the graph, right? Anytime it says use this line and it doesn't provide it in the question, that means you have to you have to uh, find it yourself. So we know that tangent lines follow the um, y equals y one plus dy dx of x minus x one, right? So, um, we're solving for uh, y, and the derivative equation provided to us is dy over dt equals 1 25th w minus 300. So, to find the derivative at time equals 0, we plug in how many tons are at time 0, so that's 1400. So, d w over d t equals one over twenty five of fourteen hundred minus three hundred. So that is of eleven thousand. And we could leave it this way, but let's just divide out. So forty four. So our derivative is 44, right? That's the slope at time equals zero. So we can take this value and we can plug it into dy over dx, right? And then since we have um, y1, 1400, and we have um, x1, zero, then that means that we can just plug all of those things in and we can get our tangent line. So just erase this stuff. So, y equals 1400 plus dy over dx, we said it was 44, and x minus 0. So this simplifies to be 1400 plus 44x, right? So then what we do is we simply plug in um, t, we simply plug in 1 fourth for t. So in this, I used x, I mean you could use t too. It's just for the general solution of a point-slope um, equation, but you would probably get marked down if you used x, so make sure to use t, right? Um, so we just plug in one-fourth for t, so we get y equals 1400 plus 11, so 1411 tons of solid waste. That's the answer to problem number A. Then problem number two asks us to find the second derivative in terms of W, right? So what we can do is we can simply take um, what we got as what we were given to be the derivative and we can take the derivative of that again, right? So we know that dw over dt is 125 times w minus 300. And if we multiply this out, we'll make it a little easier to differentiate, um, w over uh, 25 minus 300 over 25. So then, when we take the derivative of this, we get 125 dy dt, and then this just goes away because it's just a constant, right? So, because we know what dy over dt is, and because the problem asked us to write this second derivative in terms of w, we can just 
take this and plug it into dy dt. So equals 1 over 25 of 125 times w minus 300. And then we can just multiply these two together to get that the second derivative is 1 over 625 times w minus 300, right? This pen is really running out, so I'm going to switch it out for uh, blue, or green. Green's better. And then the second part of the question asks us to determine if this is an underestimate or overestimate. So the way I like to think about this is I like to see when the second derivative is positive and when it's negative, because we know that erase this. We know that when the second derivative is positive, that means that um, the function has to be concave up, right? Like this. When the second derivative is negative, we know it's concave down, kind of like that, right? And so, if we had a tangent line and we were approximating something, our tangent line would be, let me draw this in black, our tangent line would be under the curve, right? It would be underestimating it. But if our curve is going down, our line would be above where the actual point is, so this would be an overestimate, right? And because we've determined that at t equals 1 fourth, that's what the place where it wants to ask us if it's an overestimate or underestimate, since we've determined that that was uh, 1,411, if we plug it into the second derivative, this number is positive, right? And then since this number is also positive, a positive times a positive is a positive, which means that our graph is concave up at t equals one fourth, so that means that our um, our answer in part a was an underestimate, right? So the way to justify this is you just say that at time t equals one fourth, the second derivative is positive, so it must be an underestimate, right? Now the final part of this question asks us to find the particular solution w equals w of t. Uh, to the differential equation dw or dt equals 1 over 25 times w minus 300 with initial condition w of 0 equals 1400, right? So we're going to do um, some separation here. So we're given dw or dt equals... So what we want to do is we want to separate the variables so that they correspond with each other. So I see a w here and I see a w here. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by w uh, minus 30. And then we're going to multiply this dt across. So dw over w minus 30 equals 1 over 25 times dt, right? And then we're going to integrate both sides, right? Because we, we have a dw here and a dt here, but we want this in terms of w, right? So, integrating this is simply ln of w minus, oh, this is 300, w minus 300, right? This is just um, anytime you integrate something that's 1 over w minus 300, it's just going to be ln of that. And then this is simply 1 over 25 times t plus c. And you know this is going to be in terms of t because we have our dt over here, right? So, at this point, some people might want to continue and simplify this out, but what I like to do is I like to plug in the um, initial condition right away because um, there is a possibility of messing up later on, but with this, you get the right integration of the right constant of integration. So, we were told that when uh, t equals zero, so plug that in, we were told that w equals um, 1400, so ln of 1400 minus 300 equals 1 over 25 times 0 plus c, so this just goes away. We get ln of 
1,100 equals C, right? So we can go back to this step and just replace C with ln of oops 1,100. Well, there's a lot of bars. We'll just I'll just write my ones like that, okay? Then, since we found our constant of integration, we can keep um, simplifying this until it looks like W equals blah, 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 blah. So, we want to get rid of these LNs, right? So, the way we can do that is we raise everything to the E power. So, if we raise E to the LN of this, it just simplifies to... Uh, w minus 300, right? And then we take all of this to the e power. I don't know if that's how you would describe it, but the, you're just taking everything and putting it in the exponent for e, right? And then, once again, we have that e to the ln of this, so we can simply, these two cancel out, and we're left with this comes down and it becomes what E is multiplied by, right? In this situation, the E doesn't completely disappear because you still have this here, where E is to the power of 1 over 25 times T, right? And then we simply just add 300 to the other side. T plus 300. And there is our particular solution. So. These um, and these types of problems, finding out the uh, particular solution is like a lot of points. I think in this problem it's like five points. So if you don't know how to find the particular solution, it would be really advisable to figure it out because I mean you could get part A and B right, but if you just completely mess up C, you lose like over one half the points. So I. In my opinion, these are pretty easy points. You really just, you get a point for just separating this, right? It's, it's pretty easy to get these points. Just uh, lock down your understanding of separation of variables. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe.